Okay. Uh, okay. Here I'll talk about hardware and software of Risk Five TE and the secure processor as a root of trust. Uh, they are result of uh, Torazio, uh, which runs a Japanese national project. So this slide shows today's content. At first, I introduce TEE and show four issues. Root of trust, programming environment, trusted application management, and remote att att attestation. After that, I introduce security technologies offered by Torazio. They are related to the four T issues. At last, I mention four future works and conclusion. I treat many topics and speak quickly. First of all, I want to introduce TEE. TE is one of CPU execution environment isolated from OS. However, TE is not only one isolated execution environment. For example, Intel SMM, Intel ME, and the TPM are also isolated from OS. The main difference is that TE offers programming environment to the third party. Normal user can use it for their critical processing. TE separates the execution environment into two worlds, normal world for normal OS and normal application, secure world for critical applications. They are also named RE and TE. Popular CPU has TE, for example, Intel CGX and TrustZone. Risk V also has TE. This slide shows the TE implementation on Risk V. Sanctum, TeamBV, uh, MI6, Keystone, HectorV, and Cura are developed by Academia. MultiZone is developed by industry. Among them, we use Keystone because it is an active open source project. The implementation detail is explained later slide. From here, I will sh I'll show four problems on TEE. The first one is root of trust. TEE is just an isolated execution environment and cannot keep keys and certificate. A secure processor as root of trust is needed. Remote att attestation, I explain later, must be based on root of trust. So uh, the CPU which has TE include root of trust, secure core processor. For example, Intel SGX has Intel ME and AMD SEV has uh, PSP. Pure ARM trust zone doesn't have root of trust, but there are IP for root of trust. The situation is same on risk V. Unfortunately, the most of them are not open except are open Titan. We cannot verify them and need to trust them. In other words, Open Titan is our competitor. The difference is that we co-design TE and secure processor. The second problem is that TE has no common programming style. Each TE has each SDK for programming. Some SDKs are used for different CPUs, but they are not universal. It means that there are no compatibility and no portability for different architecture. Among them, the global platform T internal API is designed for architecture independent. We extend it for some CPU architecture. The third problem is management of trusted application. The management means the installation, update, and delete of TA. This action must be safe. So we must establish the trust from the view of platform and trusted application. Unfortunately, each CPU has each security procedure to run a TA. Therefore, the management must follow each CPU security procedure. The fourth problem is that remote attestation, uh, 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 remote attestation uh, which certificates the hardware platform and the target software. 
it resembles to the third problem because remote attestation is the basement of installation update and deletion. The remote attestation depends on hardware key and certificate, which should be managed by Sequoia coprocessor. From here, I'll talk about security technologies offered by Torazio. They are designed to solve the mentioned four problems. One solution is hardware and three solutions based on software. The first one is Trusted RB hardware. This figure shows the risk 5 Keystone. Keystone utilizes a mechanism of PMP, physical memory protection, which isolates memory for, for each, execu each execution named uh, enclave. In this figure, dotted line indicates an enclave created by PMP. The creation of enclave is managed by security monitor, which is basement of Keystone. In this figure, one enclave is used for security monitor uh, runs on uh, machine mode. And one enclave is used for Linux in RE. Two enclaves are used for uh, trusted application in TE. Unfortunately, the original Keystone has no root of trust. This slide shows the trusted RV, which has a, a secure coprocessor. Secure coprocessor is named secure unit, one core 32-bit RISC-5. Secure unit has machine mode only and runs Zephyr real-time OS. It has a secure storage to keep keys and certificate. Uh, the secure unit communicates to 64-bit RISC-5 named uh, AppCore with interrupt and shared memory. This figure shows FPGA implementation. We use Xilinx VC707 to implement Trusted RV. Secure unit has own peripherals isolated from AppCore. The peripherals are SPI flash, real-time clock, uh, UART and compact flash. We also made a simulator to develop the system software. It is based on Impress Risk Five simulator. The simulator offers window for AppCore UART and Secure Unit UART. It also has an indicator which shows activity of cores. This slide shows the software structure for secure coprocessor. The communication to the secure, secure unit is limited. Linux cannot connect to secure unit directly. The communication must be via trusted application and secure monitor. The critical information is managed at each level. This slide shows security layer of TE and secure core processor. They offer some design choices. It can make uh, each one layer from RE. Trusted RB select two layers which stack secure processor on TE. This structure makes uh, critical information far from the, uh, no, far from the normal OS. This slide comp compares the other security coprocessor. The targets are Google Open Titan, Lambas Risk 5 Crypto Manager, Cydex Insight eSecure, and our Trusted RB. The design are almost the same. The main difference of Trusted RB is that it is designed based on TEE. Okay, uh, second solution is for the programming environment. We use global platform T internal API. 
The API does not depend on CPU architecture and popular for smartphones. In addition, we have developed some applications with GP API and want to port them to Intel's GX and RISC-V Keystone. It is our motivation to develop a portable library for global property, global property internal API. We design the global protocol API uh, to be portable and we reuse existing SDK to implement the library. So uh, there are some implementation challenges. One challenge is that some API depend on hardware. So we separate API into hardware dependent or independent and we implement them properly. Another challenge is to integrate G, uh, GPT internal API to Keystone SDK because Keystone SDK includes EDL, Enclave Definition Language. EDL creates the code for communication and checks the pointer and boundary. We must take care of it. This slide sh shows our uh, implemented uh, GPT ET internal API. It is separated to hardware dependent and independent. The table summarizes the category and functions. The detail is describes the reference papers. Okay, the third uh, solution is TA management framework. A TA management framework is proposed by ITF uh, as TIP, Trusted Execution Environment Provisioning. TIP is a protocol to manage to install, update, and delete a TA. This figure shows the management components. On each device, there are T agent and T uh, agent in TE and T broker in REE. On server, uh, there is TAM, Trusted Application Manager. The components use keys to certificate the TE, TAM, and Trusted Application. This figure shows our implementation of RISC-V Keystone. Uh, the detail is presented at HostDem 2020 by our colleague. So uh, the implementation of TE was done on ITF Hackathon. Uh, this slide shows the uh, record of Hackathon. So uh, the uh, results were reported at the working group. Okay, the fourth solution is remote attestation. Remote attestation is a mechanism to offer platform authentication, platform integrity, and binary integrity. Remote attestation is achieved before the execution of TA and keeps the safe execution. It compensates the TA's management framework. Remote attestation assumes some condition on edge and server. The edge platform must keep the keys and certificates safely on root of trust. The server must know the information of hash of TA and device public key. Disk 5 Keystone has the mechanism for remote attestation, fortunately. The right figure shows the prerequisite and procedures. Unfortunately, Keystone does not assume the root of trust. So current implementation keeps the device key on the SD card. Our trusted RV has secure unit as root of trust and we design remote attestation to use it. So uh, up to now, we have developed the infrastructure of risk 5 TE hardware and software. The next step is to create proof of concept for real usage. 
plan to two targets now. On server, the target is machine learning to protect code and data. On edge, the target is smart city, which uses many IoT devices. We'll add more real cases in near future. Okay, I want to conclude. So uh, I hope uh, the talk include two takeaway points. First, TE just an isolated execution environment. Second, TE needs a lot of trust hardware, programming environment, management framework, and remote attestation. In order to achieve the requirements, Offer at Razio offers four security technologies. Thank you.